Hey, it's a droid guy here. We're going to have a quick walkthrough of the Sony Xperia Arc. The Xperia Arc is our, our flagship uh, product for the 2011 product line, running on the latest version of the Android platform. Of course, you're going to see five screens there. And what we've done with our user experience is just added a few things that enhance uh, the, the, the product without being some huge application. But here we have a, a streamlined version of what we call Timescape, which puts your communications like Twitter, Facebook, your email, and your photos all together in one place. And of course you have your Google widget for doing Google searches with uh, voice actions too. And then we have a media panel so I can get my photos and my videos and my music all in one place. And I'll show you uh, this particular video to show you the quality of the screen. Because this has uh, the Sony Mobile Bravia engine, the same uh, image engine that you get from the Bravia TVs. So you're going to get truer colors and great detail and, and better noise reduction too. So just a cleaner image overall. I mean, coming through even a video camera, this looks incredible. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And, it and, is. and tied into this, too, uh, you know, outside of how it views beautifully on the screen, you've got a great HDMI solution, too. So you have an HDMI connector there. And if I wanted to show this video or, or something else, I would use my HDMI cable, and I don't even have to have the TV turned down. I plug it in, it powers the TV on, and it would go straight to my gallery where I can open up my photos and my videos. Nice. So, uh, And also, you have have uh, an HD camera, 720p, okay. and a 8 megapixel uh, on the still photo. And the camera has also another important asset from Sony, the Exmor R for mobile camera sensor. And, and what that sensor does is, especially under low light conditions, giving you brilliant images. So, so with conventional sensor, sensors, they're, they're going to get a graininess there and not such a bright image. This gives you twice the brightness and reduces that digital noise in, in half. So, so it's just a clean image. But, but giving you better lighting conditions when you're shooting under low light. So you're getting almost a Sony, a Sony point and shoot inside the Xperia yeah. Arc. Yeah, yeah, getting these beautiful assets from Sony, really tangible assets that are yeah. meaningful. Uh, so that with the Bravia, the Exmor R for mobile sensor. And then, you know, something we, we kind of forget sometimes, we talk about the stuff that's inside, is the beautiful design of this product too. It's 8.7 millimeters thin. And you can see that beautiful curvaceous look and it, with the brilliant screen too. Oh, something else about the screen. We call this the reality display because of the true colors you get from it. But you also have in the hardware a complete light and airtight seal that minimizes any reflection in the screen. So that's important yeah. outdoors. You're going to get a brighter screen outdoors too. Now the other guy was showing me you can pinch and get all the, yeah, all the widgets. Yeah, you, you pinch you know, from the home screen, you do oh, a I pinch. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> a little fumbling and that's a little every bit. every widget that you... Yeah, that's every... On, on so, so, you know, you have five screens, and maybe you've just populated with loads of widgets. That's uh, that's okay, because all you do is do that pinch. And you click and, on it. And goes yeah, and then this gives you shortcuts to all those widgets. You go, oh, let me, let me go to this one, and it takes you to it, to the right screen. So and, a cool little en enhancement. And then it's got the new version of the Sony on top, and uh, on top of Android 2.3. Right, so just a few little enhancements you have, uh, uh, easier ways to create folders, organize your application applications and such. So for example, if I go into the application tray, what we've done first, uh, we, with the, the vanilla Android gingerbread, you, you scroll up and down to see your applications and everything is loaded there. Here you go left to right, but not only that, there's different ways that I can sort. So if I press this button here, uh, I can do my own custom order, I can do it alphabetically, or I can go by how they, from when I install right. those apps chronologically. So sort them the way that I want to see how the applications and everything that I have here in my uh, applications launcher, launcher for Android, we have this little enhancement that just makes it more versatile. It's actually a lot more useful than you think, probably. Yeah, <laughs> it's the little things, when, isn't it? <laughs> when, when you don't remember you remember an app's name, but hey, I only downloaded it two days ago. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, for me, especially if it's not in alphabetical order. If alphabetical, I can find anything, right? And Do but you know it, approximately when this might launch? Well, there's been no carrier announcements for the U.S., but we're going to see this as a Q2 device. Okay. Yep. So it'll still be up to date with 2.3 for the most part. That's right. And everything we're showing here at this show has Android 2.3. So fresh out of the oven, I say, with gingerbread. And um, Sonny Erickson, CEO, said that he was going to bring stuff to the U.S. quicker and... and 
Well, it, it's showing how important the company globally is, is emphasizing the United States. Right. Whereas previously, you'd see everything show up uh, in Japan or Europe first, and we'd go, where are we going to get it? Well, it, for example, with the Xperia Play, we're going to show up first on Verizon Wireless with that device. So it's right. a very strong statement of, of the emphasis we're placing on the United States, how important we know this, this market is. And real quick, the, was... Uh were all your counterparts in Japan okay after this big earthquake? Thank or? you for asking that. Yes, we have about 1,100 employees in Tokyo, and we've, we've confirmed that all of them are safe. Dealing with uh, the stresses that are obviously happening there, right. our hearts go out to them. Uh, we recommend if people want to donate charity that they, they, they should be able to do that to Red Cross or otherwise to help them out. They're all safe, of course. You know, we're sure you know, there, there are relatives and friends that, that, that are, may have been impacted more severely, but our, all of our employees are, are doing well uh, out of Tokyo.